Here's your map, Rich, after I looked over your routine. Now, we did discuss some of this and some changes. And um, I'm glad you're doing this because it gives you a chance to really think your way through. And I made some changes on the end, too, but I think these are the ones we discussed. So right here, that hesitation there, that is the second time around. So we're starting with just the natural turn into the natural spin turn. So that's the beginning of your long wall. And there's your turning lock to the right. That's the gold turning lock. That brings you out into promenade. So now you're going diagonal to center with your natural weave or running weave. They're the same figure. Then from there, you're going backwards into the left whisk. So we can enter a left whisk from promenade or from closed. So we're going backward and closed. This is the grouping that you were watching uh, Mirko dance. The left whisk, a little bit of a twist and a spin to a same foot lunge. Now you're going to slip the lady in in the method that we talked about last week and then do the open telemark. So you slip her in on the and and then you do your normal one, two, three. In the corner we'll do the hover cross from promenade. Of course this waltz timing so we're dancing one, two, three to go in and one, two, three to come out in promenade. And then we'll use the natural weave from promenade to go across the short wall, dance a natural turn towards the corner, and a natural spin turn. Now this is the new group. These are actually, um, let's see, the first two figures are in bronze, and you can dance it in bronze. You can dance a spin turn to a reverse, reverse corte. And then the outside spin is silver. So this is another entry into your outside spin. So the natural spin turn turns to the right, the reverse corte turns to the left, and the outside spin back to the right. So very nice curvy group. And then when you finish the spin, instead of the natural turn, which is what we've been practicing, that's where we'll put your double natural spin. Then we'll dance a curved feather, and this curved feather then comes from outside partner. The double natural spin ends with the man going outside partner on his right foot. From there, we'll dance an open impetus turn, and we're doing another natural weave or running weave, followed by the tumble turn, and then going into the hinge. Now, you were watching this piece. You were watching Marcus and Karen dance the um, hinge, and I don't remember if they did the pivot on the end, but that's the exit we're using. So again, you're going to lead the girl out ahead of you, this time on one, and dance your pivot on two, three. Now you're dancing one, two, three of a natural into the running spin turn. Now previously when we were dancing the running spin turn, we were on the long wall. But it's coming up on the short wall now because we'll, otherwise we'll get the routine too long. And the natural hesitation. And that will take up even in the in the studio, most of the short wall. In your space at home, you're not going to be able to get all this in. And then, right here, I'm going to move to the other paper. Okay, so we're dancing a hesitation, natural hesitation. Okay, now we put two double reverse spins in, which is, again, something you haven't been practicing, but a good thing for you to practice. And then this was a group that, again, you were watching Marcus and Karen dance the bombshell from the double reverse and then slipping her in and then we're going to dance a hover telemark here going towards diagonal center hover telemark and a, a twinkle to promenade are the same thing now you had another running weave or natural weave and I think we're getting too many because you have each long wall you have a natural weave so I'm going to suggest there and we have done this that you dance a chasse from promenade and a quick open reverse so that you have something different. Dance a reverse pivot to an open telemark and then we'll do the oversway. So this is a grouping you've been working on before and we'll put that in to get some of those other figures. You may have forgotten about your, your quick open reverse. Okay, so um, let's see how that works. And uh, I think we've got all the figures in that you wanted to experiment with. So I think this is a good exercise for you to do also where you're putting things together yourself 
and then we discuss them. So uh, maybe in the future you want to go ahead and do that in your other dances.